Hello friends. Today we will learn about the camper tool in Creo software. How we need to utilize this tool into our model? Okay. Here it is a camper in engineering tool set. Go to the set. You will have multiple options in jumpers. This one is first total is one, two, three, four, five, six total. Total six sets in Creo you have provided for jumper tool. Okay, it is your interview question. First one is D into D, D1 into D2, angle into D, 45 degree. This one is D, 45 degree into D means in both phase you have uh, total 90 degree of angle then uh, O into O, O1 into O2 mainly we refer I prefer you to refer this D into D or D1 you know how to go with O this option okay just we will start our tutorial what is the chamfer Chamfer are a type of feature where an edge or corner is beveled. Surface can be solid model surface or traditional cryoparametry. Go to thickness, field or surface. So, in chamfer, you can add the material surface to surface or you can remove the material from the edge. So both activities will be done in chamfer. Okay, then we will go with first option, D into D. What is the D into D? This option creates the chamfer at an equal distance from both the faces connected by a common edge selected by us. Okay, just I will show you you are creating set one select this edge or bottom edge i will show you here see now if you want to make same chamfer to other four edge then what you will do you will select this edge select this edge select this edge but this is the not correct way to provide the same dimension chamfer with different different set see here you are creating different different set if you have common dimension just you need to hold the control button select this edge select this edge select this edge. this is the correct way okay if you have different dimension then you will go with different set otherwise you will create in set one only but your references are different edge references that is now another way if you need to select all four corners at a time then what you will need to do i will show you control z control z Hold control button on that edge, make right click to so see these four columns are going to select. Just see another one. Come to edge, click, click right click, make a right click, and left click. See automatically. It chamfered in four edges. Okay, this is first option. Now, chamfer. I will go with D1 into D2. So, in this option. 
you can define chamfer with different different distances independent this is independent independent measure just select this See. here d1 i will provide 20 see how it is changing d2 15 so you can provide different sizes okay this one is d1 into d2 okay now i don't want it so i will go with angle now in angle you provide your required angle what you need if i provide 60 so one side it is the angle other side it is the distance from your selected surface or you can flip it angle will move here distance will move another side okay one is this one and 45 if you want 90 degree exact 90 90 degree with one di one dimension then you go with 45 into d okay now what is the o into o, o into o2 okay um, i don't prefer you to go with this but in another sketch uh, we will learn where it is useful that both both options okay now suppose I want the chamfer between this both surface. So, what is the options we have? Select this surface, hold control button, select this surface. Yeah, automatically this chamfer created. Okay, means you are adding material, extra material, surface to surface. Suppose you want to add this chamfer all over the around the surface then how it will work hold the control no it is not working okay and please clear your doubts here only it will be interviewer question okay that's why if you are i will read this it i am going with chamfer i'm selecting this surface at a time i need to chamf uh, use this chamfer all around the surface then what will be my model okay In model I have edge then chamfer will not go creating all over the surface then just provide round all the edges okay select one by one okay now I have edges on my dimension uh, model. So again I will go to chamfer, select this surface, hold control button, see. Automatically that chamfer created all around the surface. Now I think you cleared. Okay. Same. Now I want to create chamfer between the surface and edge. Then what you will do? Go to chamfer, select this surface, hold control button, select this edge. No, it is not working. Okay. Okay. 
why it is not working just think on that we will come it again okay now again I have this hole, I need to tamper it. Okay, just I will delete this. I think you are clear in this model. Now again, go to tamper. I need to make chamfer on hole, same. See? I control button, right click. If you want to make same feature on other holes, just hold the control button, make a right click, hit to right button, then automatically it is selecting and just it your left button. Okay. See? How it is automatically generating. Okay. You are clear on that. Now, this is the edge to surface or surface to edge. Now, I think my top uh, surface is more, that's why it is removed uh, all around surfaces. So what I will do, I will reduce my chamfer size, then see what it will happen. See. Like that. Now, again, chamfer. Make here. If I am making a right leg and again left leg, then this is selecting inner and both outer edge. And it is going with chamfer. Hit OK button. And then make another chamfer on that edge. Now. Now you getting here sharp edge. Okay, so if we go with transition, To remove this edge again, we will learn this transition separately. Okay, select this edge, hold control, hold control. Okay, see, go to transition, we are set transition after any piece option it will provide solid or surface now your body is solid okay here we need to select default patch corner plane now i'll go with corner plane see how it is removed
just for tamper feature we go down with correct option then it will work for you if suppose i need here 10 mm tamper okay Sorry. and another side you need different distance but in this feature or you don't want to select another chamfer feature then you need to add new set select this one and provide different dimension how it is working okay I think you cleared about all this feature. Now remaining these two, where it will where, uh, where it will work properly? Where we need to use this feature? Whether it work here? Yeah, it will work here. Just go with this. See here also it will work. What is the that old door? This option create a chamfer at an offset distance from the edge along its surface. Okay, edge along each surface. I think you clear. What is the D into D? This option create the chamfer at an equal distance from both the faces. Okay, which connect into common edge. You clear? Okay, I think you cleared about this feature. Now, I have another model. I have this cylinder piece with angular cut, like elliptical cut. Okay. Then I want to make chamfer. I want I want to use this chamfer feature on this edge. Just simply, I am selecting this edge. Then see, you have only two option O into O. O1 into O2. Other options won't work here. This angle face cut. Okay. I think you have no doubt how to on how to use the chamfer feature. So hope you guys understand this chamfer tool if you have any questions please make a comment i will answer your comment i will clear your doubt okay thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you